Hello, um, I am filming my May favourites. If you've watched my What's in My Maternity Bag video, you'll know that I'm having a bit of a nightmare day filming um, and there's a massive fly flying around somewhere and I'm sitting here with a magazine trying to swat it. Um, so sorry if you can hear that. The dog's being annoying. Blah. Anyway, the first one is this, which is uh, the Makeup Forever ink liner. Um, does that even come into focus? The Makeup Forever Ink Liner. The reason I love this is because it's completely matte, um, which is fantastic, and it has a lovely applicator, which doesn't happen very often. It's sort of the perfect length and um, thickness, although you need to, do need to make sure you've wiped a lot of the product off, but you can also use it with your own brush if you like. Um, it's only available in black. It's very long lasting um, and it doesn't set too quickly, which I know sounds very weird. It does set, um, but if you make a mistake, you've got time to work with it. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see how matte it is on my hand, but it's very matte. So I love this. It's £17.50 and available from Pam. Um, so it's not the cheapest out there, but if you are a black eyeliner person, um, this is a really good investment. It's a really good one. The next um, favorites are these, which is the Grumpy Cow Conditioner and Shampoo, um, which I first saw Sam Chapman of Pixie Woo wave, raving about and um, I thought I would try it. I have given up on trying to find the perfect shampoo. I just thought I had terrible, terrible hair. Um, and the reason I love this is that they um, are, as t to my knowledge, sulfate and silicon free. And for the first time since I can remember, my hair is non-frizzy. So today is not a good day to look at my hair because it needs a wash, but um, if you look at my, I think there's a, there are a couple of recent videos where I'm wearing a pink t-shirt and it's when I've just started using the shampoo and to my mind you can see the difference. Um, I have naturally kind of frizzy hair or prone to frizz hair. Um, that I always assumed was because I dyed it, um, but as you can see, I haven't dyed it since whenever this is, um, for over a year, and it was still frizzy and still looked terrible, and this shampoo, although it's volumizing, uh, it doesn't obviously it give you a ton of volume. I've, I've yet to find a volumizing shampoo that actually does, but my hair has more volume naturally from using it because it's not just like a top layer of frizz and then heavy with, with the silicon. Um, and it's just, it's completely revolutionized my life. Uh, from the first use, I just was amazed and impressed and I can't imagine using any other shampoos and conditioners. Um, the shampoo is 16 pounds and the conditioner is 18 pounds. Um, because it's so good, I have been leaving it longer between washes, so I now wash it every four days. Um, I know there are some people out there who wash their hair every day, and so washing it every four days, you must think I'm gross. But um, it's so much better, so much better. Anyway, um, you can get this in Cowshed, you can get it in John Lewis, you can get it in Selfridges. Um, I'm completely, I will rave about this shampoo for the entire video if we don't move on. So. There we go, the second, the third thing is a bit cheaty. Um, it's the Chantecaille Primer, which isn't this. This is the day tint, which I don't like, but I don't have the Chantecaille Primer. I tried a sample of it, and it, so if you want to know what to look for, it comes in a tube that looks like this, but instead of the purple, it's got yellow around it, okay? Um, I got given this to try out when I bought the skin tint um, and a sample of it lasts you f about four uses you don't need very much and for four uses it was 
absolutely by far and away the best primer that I have ever ever used and I've used a lot of primers and most of the time I'm like meh it's just a primer does it actually add anything to my face or make my makeup stay longer this made my skin feel amazing um, it made my makeup definitely look better go on better stay on better um, and it has an SPF of 50 which just means great great sun protection for your face um, it's called it says it's anti now prepare yourselves for my mispronunciation anti-glycation which means it protects the collagen in your face and this is what we're always trying to do. If you get wrinkles, if you get, uh, as you get older and your skin isn't as plump, that's the collagen breaking down. So it protects that. Um, so it's kind of anti-aging. Um, it's oil-free, it's lightweight, it's mattifying. It suits all skin types apparently. Um, it's anti-inflammatory because it's got lemon balm and white tea in it. Um, so this is basically like a, a miracle worker wonder primer, uh, which is what I thought from as soon as I put it on my face. Uh, then obviously I had to go and read other people's reviews of it um, and, and everyone seems to agree that it is a wonder product and great and most people who have bought it seem to just go, right that's it. I'm buying it over and over and over and sort of use it as a face cream rather than a primer you can wear it on its own if you don't want to wear makeup and they just use it as a sort of high SPF um, anti-inflammatory great for your skin face cream there is a problem which is this is 76 pounds for 40 milliliters um, I think this is 40 this is 50 so I think you get slightly less than this this, I mean, this was an eye-watering 58, and it's not very good. Uh, 76 pounds is a hell of a lot to lay out on something that is not really a moisturiser. Not, I mean, it's a hell of a lot to fork out on some skincare, but for something that is not sort of a moisturiser and not really, you know, it's. I, I can see why it would be a problem, and I don't think that I will ever myself unless I start making a, a load of money, be in a position to spend that money on a primer. However, if you are someone who does have that kind of money, who wants something that is a high SPF, that is anti-inflammatory and you've got good skin, you sometimes wear foundation, but you want something that will probably, it's not got any tint in it, but will mattify and look nice on your skin without you having to wear anything then this really might be the one to go for and it is Charlotte Tilbury there's the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in Crazy in Love which is this sort of matte I guess it's kind of a rose colour and this is actually the one that Charlotte recommends for darker skin tones but it works really well with um, this lip stick which is lost cherry from the charlotte tilbury matte revolution range um and the reason that i love this so much is it's not pink it's not red i mean she says it's a sort of muted fuchsia it's the sort of the perfect color for this time of year and i always worry when i put it on that i'm going to look too overdone and you don't it just maybe I should put it on maybe I'll put it on but now I've just whacked it on not very well probably but um and it looks really bright it looks really bright on my camera it's less bright in real life but it's totally buildable so it can be really bright if you want it to be um but for me it's just the sort of perfect color it's just the perfect color so um, that is the Charlotte Tilbury, the lip cheat um, and it, they both last sort of six hours and they really are quite long lasting and the matte lipstick isn't too drying, it's slightly, I mean it's, it's a matte lipstick but it's just not too bad. Um, the lip cheat is £16, the lipstick is £23, um, available in Selfridges and at Charlotte Tilbury. 
and I also I love the packaging I love this lipstick packaging for me it's just like classic grown up lovely lipstick so that's my May favourites um, I'm sorry if it's all been a bit hectic I'm due to have the baby a week today and I'm feeling a bit kind of chaotic and breathless and tired and all the wonderful things of impending motherhood so um, thank you very much for watching I'm hoping that by the time you see this video I'll have had the baby hurrah um, and um, I will see you next time